What's up guys, welcome to 54th Ruby tutorial. This is again Shrek from SmartHerd. In this tutorial, I will teach you about linguistics in Ruby. Now, first of all, what is linguistics? It is actually a predefined file which includes the use of English with the help of linguistic file. Now, in this tutorial guys, I won't use this app in a studio. I will open my text editor. Let's open it, interactive Ruby. Yeah. Fine. Now, let's use our interactive Ruby in this tutorial. Now, to include linguistic file, we have to use our previous syntax, which is require, then write linguistics, hit enter. Yeah, it is showing true. Yes this linguistics file has been included in our program now let's write our second line of code let's write linguistics then double colon use bracket sorry bracket colon en hit enter now this statement actually enables us to use the English language in our program. Now don't worry about this guys what is the string numeric array no need to worry about it let's move forward now how to use linguistics what is the syntax let's type a number let's say 3004 dot en English dot num words now let's hit enter when we hit enter it prints 3004 and it is actually the same number 3004 it is converted into English and that too in num words numerical words like this now let's use a floating point value let's say 1.8 dot en dot num words hit enter it is showing 1.8 because I have written the floating point value 1.8 now let's write 1.83 dot en dot numbers hit enter it is again showing 1.83 like this it will just read the number what you have written now let's use our let's say string let's say goose dot en dot ruler sorry plural whatever let's hit enter it says geese the plural of goose is actually geese now let's write ruby let's say what it says plural let's hit enter yeah it is it is showing rubies ruby is rubies in plural form like this now let's use runs it is a verb dot en dot present underscore participle like this let's hit enter yeah in present participle this runs is actually known as running now these things are usually helpful when user inputs our data and you want to convert it into a required form if user by mistakely enter runs and you need it running so it will check if it is running or not if it is not running then convert that form into this present participle form like this in this way you can manipulate the data now let's write sit dot en dot past underscore participle like this let's hit enter yeah sit in past participle is known as sat so in this way guys you can check out many things you can hit and try yourself like this so not so difficult guys catch you guys in the next tutorial this is shrix from smart herd signing off and please subscribe to my channel thank you